Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you're interested in today's video. When Dutch company ASML announced the official delivery of the world's first second-generation high-NA EUV lithography machine, the EXC of 5200B, to Intel, this 3 billion renminbi technology deal not only set a new record for semiconductor equipment manufacturing but also sent shockwaves through the global chip industry, dramatically altering the global lithography landscape. This 150-ton, super money printing machine boasts a resolution of 8 nanometers with a numerical aperture of 0.55, theoretically enabling a 1.74 reduction in size and a 2.94 increase in transistor density, marking the official entry into the 1 nanometer chip manufacturing era. However, amidst this technological frenzy, the Chinese chip industry faces the dual challenges of unprecedented technological barriers and industrial breakthroughs. ASML's EXC F5200B lithography machine is considered the crown jewel of the semiconductor industry. Its technological breakthroughs are reflected in three dimensions, a revolutionary upgrade to the optical system, 0.55 NA, a curved mirror assembly co-developed with Zeiss, and the world's first double exposure compensation technology. These innovations have driven the price of a single device to $340 million, double that of previous generation EUV lithography machines. Yet, this has still sparked a frenzied race among Intel, TSMC, and Samsung. Leveraging its first mover advantage, Intel has included the EXC of 5200B in its 2027 RISC production plan for the 14A process, aiming to establish a generational advantage in 3D packaging and GE transistor technology. TSMC has adopted a dual-track strategy, continuing its 0.33 NA EUV technology in the A14 process while secretly developing the next-generation 0.7 NA superlithography machine. Samsung's 500 billion won gamble is even more dramatic. While the EXC A5000 introduced at its Weizong campus is a transitional model, it conceals its ambition to overtake competitors in the 2 nanometers process. The essence of this competition is a struggle for dominance in the semiconductor industry. According to IBS data, the cost of designing chips for the 3 nanometers process has exceeded $1 billion, and high NA EUV technology can reduce the cost of a single tape out by 40%. Whoever masters this technology first will establish a decisive advantage in emerging fields like AI chips and quantum computing. While global giants battle tooth and nail for lithography equipment, Chinese manufacturers are being denied even the right to participate. The Wassena arrangement, an arms control mechanism born during the Cold War, has become an invisible hand stifling China's semiconductor development. According to the latest revised control list, immersion DUV lithography equipment has been placed under export control, not to mention EUV and its derivative technologies. This technological blockade exhibits three characteristics, generational lock-in, China currently only has access to 28 nanometers DUV equipment, supply chain fragmentation, ESML's 100,000 components come from 5,000 suppliers worldwide, excluding China from core processes, and application scenario restrictions, even if China obtains the equipment, Western countries can still impose a secondary blockade through EDA software, advanced materials, and other means. These technological blockades have also ignited the battle for domestic chip manufacturers to break through. The sudden release of Huawei's Kirin 9000S chip has given the outside world hope of breaking through the blockade. But ASML CEO Wenning immediately poured cold water on China, even if the blueprints were made public, China still can't produce an EUV lithography machine. Behind this technological arrogance lies the West's absolute control over the semiconductor industry ecosystem, from Germany's laser sources to the United States' dual workbench, 
from Japan's silicon-based materials to the United Kingdom's vacuum systems, every link is riddled with technical barriers. Facing the technological iron curtain, China's chip industry is embarking on a path of breakthrough, surrounding the city from the countryside. In the field of lithography machines, Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers DUV equipment has passed 0.25 NA technical verification, Shunka KG's magnetic levitation molecular pump has broken the U.S. monopoly, and Guowang Optics has mastered 193 nanometers of light source technology. While these breakthroughs don't reach the pinnacle of ASML, they build a complete technology stack from light source to objective lens. Even more noteworthy is the rise of the asymmetric innovation strategy. In the field of quantum chips, Origin Quantum has delivered its first 256 qubit computer. In the photonic chip field, Shiji Technology uses photon matrix computing to increase computing power by 1000 times. And in chip stacking technology, Huawei's patented dual core stacking method can improve the performance of 14 nanometers chips to 7 nanometers levels. These innovative approaches break free from the constraints of traditional Moss law and open up new possibilities for overtaking in a different lane. More fundamental planning is equally crucial. The third phase of the National Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund has a registered capital of 344 billion yuan, with a focus on bottlenecks such as lithography equipment and EDA tools. The Integrated Circuit Colleges established by 28 double first-class universities are cultivating the first batch of Chi Huangpu Military Academy talents. This combination of a national system and market mechanisms is reshaping the ecosystem of China's semiconductor industry. From a historical perspective, ASML's monopoly position is similar to the commercial hegemony of the Dutch East India Company, while China's path to breakthrough continues the open-minded gene of Sheng He's voyages to the West. While the EXE F5200B wrought to life in Intel's factories, Chinese engineers were debugging their independently developed extreme ultraviolet EUV, light sources in their labs. This technological race has no end in sight. Only relentless innovation can pierce the fog of blockade and reach the vast expanse of lithography technology. As Bao Xinhe, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, put it, we don't need to copy ASML, but we must create a technological paradigm more advanced than EUV. This may be the ultimate answer to China's cheap industry's breakthrough.